If your computer doesn't meet the system requirements, but you still want to enjoy the latest features of Windows 11, this guide will help you bypass those restrictions easily. Let's get started. First, you'll need a couple of things before we begin. Here's what we need. A USB drive, at least 8 GB. The Windows 11 24H2 ISO file. You can download it from Microsoft's official website. Rufus, a free tool to create a bootable USB. A reliable internet connection to download all the software. Once you've downloaded everything, plug in your USB drive. Now, open Rufus. Here, if your USB doesn't show up your drive, click on List USB Hard Drivers option. Now select the Windows 11 ISO file. Click Start. Here's the trick. To bypass the system requirements, we'll select the option to remove TPM and secure boot checks. and Rufus will create your bootable USB. This may take a few minutes. Now, restart your PC and boot into your BIOS by pressing the designated key, usually F2, F12, or Dell. From here, choose USB drive. And your PC should boot directly into the Windows 11 installation. Once the setup begins, follow the on-screen prompts to install Windows 11. If your PC doesn't meet the system requirements, don't worry. Thanks to the Rufus modification, you'll be able to install it without any issues. Here click on, I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings. Click on next. If you have a product key, just type it here. If you don't, click I don't have a product key. Here select the Windows version you would like to install, like Windows 11 Pro. Click on Accept. Select the drive and then click on Next. Click Install. After a few minutes, Windows 11 24H2 will start installing. This process may take a while, depending on your system. Once the installation is complete, you'll be guided through the initial setup of Windows 11. Customize your settings. Select your country or region and click on Yes to continue. Select your keyboard layout and click on Yes to continue. Click Skip. Here click on I don't have internet option. Enter your username and click on Next. Next. And that's it. You've successfully installed Windows 11 24H2 on an unsupported PC. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.